when you think about sensory needs within kind of the model of care that we do that trauma-informed attachment-based um, care that we offer here at Chaddock where does sensory um, that sensory piece that sensory component kind of come into play when I hear sensory um, I automatically think of environment so what what can I do in the cottage or what can I do in the home to make it friendly? Um, so I'm looking at um, colors, I'm looking at lighting. Um, is there a lot of things in the room that are overstimulating to a child? Um, once I can kind of scan the environment, then I'm looking at what's the kid giving me? How are they responding? Are they rocking? Are they pacing? Are they biting their nails? What are they telling them that they need? Mm. So what I'm hearing you say is that one, you just look globally or kind of overall the environment. What are things that we need to be considering from kind of a preventative measure? Mm -hmm. But then you also take that a step further by being attuned to the, the child or the individual you're working with and really saying, okay, I'm seeing them respond. There's some kind of symptom. There's some kind of um, action going on. Mm -hmm. Is there a sensory need there that we need to make an adjustment for? Right. 